So welcome to my creative studio slash gaming setup. My goal for this channel has always been to bring you guys the best content that I possibly can, finding new and fun ways to showcase tech, and then sharing that experience. And as things have grown, I've gone from my bedroom to my living room to now this office. Coming in at roughly 220 square feet, it's basically just a large room that I've broken down into four dedicated sections, each of them serving their own unique purpose. So when you walk into the studio, the first stop in the morning has to be the coffee bar. I've always wanted like a full coffee bar, and I figured this would be the perfect place to build one. For the actual bar itself, it's the Broer Ikea workbench. And then I just have a few accent pieces on there, including some espresso mugs, books, and other small things. Also, the heat just went on. If you hear that in the background, ignore it. And then I use the bottom section for storage, along with some stuff tucked in all the way underneath. I definitely need to cable manage this area, but that's another project for another day. On the coffee bar itself, we have the Fellow Stag Kettle, which I just really like the look of. Niche Coffee Grinder, which is an incredible grinder. And then the Flare 58 Plus Espresso Machine, which is actually a manual espresso machine. And while I'd eventually like to get a full machine with the steam wand and everything like that. For now, this does the job and it makes really good espresso, so I'm happy. Also, for the few people interested in my go-to coffee lately, it's been this coffee from Irving Farm. My buddy over there is actually the head roaster, so definitely go check them out if you want to support. Also, their coffee is just great. Now, sitting in the corner is a Togo dupe that I got off of Amazon, which I use to hide a bunch of boxes behind, to be honest. And then sitting on top of those is the PT4C tube light from Amaran, and then there's also an Ikea end table and Ikea lamp as well. Ikea is a common theme in this studio. This is also where I store my extra very pole, which I haven't quite found a use for yet, I'm sure I will eventually, but for now, just sits in that corner. Now, you've probably noticed, but I actually hung up a couple of curtains as well. The studio has a double door frosted glass kind of look, and I like it, but at the same time, there's a lot of light that bleeds in, and I wanted full control, so I put the curtains up, and also it helps with that go. Now, funny enough, even though you'll see the gaming setup later, this little corner is where I probably spend 90% of my time. I just like to sit here and edit, especially since I recently took the time to convert my workflow over to editing mostly off of SSDs. And I really like this workflow because I can work off my laptop, but then and hop over to the computer to finish off a project if I need to. And then to the left of the coffee bar is kind of where I just store all of my lighting equipment, tripods, basically a blank dumping ground space for all of my larger floor equipment. Now, this section is also where I keep my floating key light, which is an Amaran 200 XS with a Light Dome Mini SE. Now, I love having this light on wheels because I can just wheel it around the studio and get better lighting in whatever section of the studio I'm shooting in for the day. Now, one thing you'll notice around the studio is that there are a bunch of sound panels hung everywhere. These are actually two by four or one by four foot sound panels from Gig Acoustics that my buddy Matt actually gave to me, so shout out to him. And I hung them up in as many any places as I could fit them just to kind of eliminate the echo. That being said, when all was said and done, I didn't have much extra space for artwork around the studio, but I did manage to fit two pieces in here. Both of them are from Poster Lad. If you're not familiar with Poster Lad, I would 100% go check them out. I just love all the art on there. Now, directly across from the coffee bar, we have the top-down shooting area. As someone who covers a lot of tech products, I wanted a space where I could film unboxings or product shots, and I think there's a few things about this area that work really well. Now, the desk is a Home Depot butcher block sitting on an autonomous standing desk frame. And I also added some caster wheels to the bottom so that I could wheel this around the studio and use the desk for different angles kind of like what you're seeing now. Usually the desk is over there. And then mounted to the ceiling, we have the permanent top-down rig. Now this whole thing consists of a wall plate, a tension arm, and the Ulanzi quick release system that I use for all of my camera gear. And the sole purpose of this rig is to have a quick place where I can go and attach my camera and get a top-down shot without having to set up and tear down my C-stand every single time. Also, if you are wondering about any of the gear for the studio, I'll leave it all linked down below. It will be affiliate links. So if a hundred of you all buy something, I will probably make 50 cents. Now for the lighting in this section, I'm using the Amran one 50C and then the Light Dome 3, which I think just does a really good job of distributing light across the space. And that's all attached to my other variable. Now, there are definitely things that I still need to polish up, like the cable management on the desk, for example, but this is a real studio tour and that's how I use it daily. So I'm pretty happy with the area overall. Now, this office space doesn't have a closet, so I kind of had to just make my own storage area. And I landed on a mix of these Boxel, I think is what they're called, modular IKEA shelves, and then the Besta cabinets for more storage at the bottom. At the very top, you'll find all of my painted toolboxes, all labeled and all holding things that I would need access to on a day-to-day -day basis. What's on the shelves themselves is actually constantly changing. For now, you'll find things like my first ever GPU, my Forza Motorsport racing helmet from a Microsoft event I went to back in the fall, and then lots and lots of camera gear. It's semi-organized, but basically the idea here is to have a grab and go station so I can make a video whenever I need to without a lot of friction. Now, one thing I like about these shelves, like I said, is that they're fully modular. So if I want to at any point, if I feel like I need more shelf room, et cetera, I can just pop the shelves off, move them around and pop them back on. Now, sitting on top of the cabinets, I just have a few accent pieces or things that I wanted access to on a daily basis. The spotlight attachment for my lighting equipment. I have my 100K plaque there, which is just fun to see. An Ikea lamp, my Halo 
helmet. And then actually this Ugreen five in one charger, which I did for a brand deal a while back, but now I just find myself using it every single day. It's pretty great. And again, that's not sponsored at this point. I just like the product, but that's about it for the top. Now in the cabinets themselves, I tried to keep it organized by sections, PC and desk accessories, extra camera gear and boxes, laptops and various other tech. And then finally, all of my tools. I even had to stuff some stuff underneath the shelves, which I don't love the look of, but as you can see, we're a little strapped for space here. So kind of had to make do. In a future space, I'd definitely like to have a little bit more room or maybe a dedicated gear closet where I can just store things that I don't use on a daily basis. But all that being said, I'm actually really happy with how this section turned out and it does a good job of keeping me pretty organized. So I'd call that a win. Now the gaming setup is an interesting part of the studio. Also, this desk has been squeaking this whole time. Now, initially I built this section as kind of a place to work, play games, stream, but truthfully, I haven't really had a ton of time to stream lately. That again, paired with the SSD workflow and I kind of rarely find myself actually using this setup for what it was intended for. And although I do occasionally find time to play games here, I'm kind of thinking about revamping this into a productivity setup, maybe with an ultra wide for editing or something like that. If there are any companies with ultra wide monitors watching, hit me up. And that being said, I'm eventually gonna build a home setup with the mini PC. So that's probably where I'm gonna do a majority of my gaming anyway. That being said, I'm still really happy with how this area actually turned out. Now for the desk itself, you'll see the same Home Depot butcher block that I'm using for the top down area, but this time it's just six feet long instead of four feet long. And that's sitting on top of the classic Alex drawer with a little desk riser duo. I did invest in this Herman Miller Embody chair about two years ago, and it was very expensive, but 100% worth it. For anyone who sits in a chair for like eight hours a day, I definitely think it's important to invest in something that's comfortable and that won't hurt your back. And that thing has been a lifesaver. I've always found the one horizontal, one vertical layout to be best for my workflow. I also feel like I finally have the accessories on my desk more or less dialed in. That includes the BenQ screen bar Halo, my Zero mouse from Optimum Tech, a high ground summit keyboard and mouse pad, and a Rodecaster Duo audio interface powering all of the audio in the setup. Now above the whole setup, I also just went ahead and mounted some pegboards. This was mostly just to display a few things and add a little bit more interest to the setup where you'd normally just otherwise see a blank wall. And I think it turned out pretty good. And maybe once we rework a couple of things, I could definitely do a full setup tour in the future if that's something you all would be interested in. So yeah, that's basically the space as of today. I think it's kind of the perfect space as we continue to grow the company over the next year. And to be honest, it's just a bit surreal to have a dedicated space in the first place. I'm constantly trying to reinvest back into the business so that I can bring you all the best videos possible. So I really appreciate you all supporting. It's really the only reason that this has been possible in the first place. That being said, we're really kind of just getting started. So I'm excited to bring you all along for this journey. I'm also gonna try to ramp up on weekly content soon. The goal would be to post every Saturday if I can. But until then, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you in the next one.